Okay guys, this is my cutaway section of tree lining, but it works pretty well also for catching bait from piers or drop-offs or from the shoreline. Basically put, you got your whipping rod and this is, and the line here, I would go a little bit lighter. So I would probably use about maybe six pound test line. The leader here will be a little bit longer. I would go about eight to 10 feet, maybe four pound test line. But like, see, if you're in a deeper area like I was the other day, um, what I would do is I would go, I would use eight pound mono on this line, which is the main line, and go 10 pound um, floral on the leader and still go eight to 10 um, pounds. And on the hook, I would, I've been using number 12s, they're kind of small, but man, I have been hooking up a lot of fish that way. So I, what I do is I get ready for uh, the evening because once it starts getting dark, the big predators come around. So starting at about mid afternoon, I go around and I start looking for live bait to use so I can set it down. And this system works fairly well for me. And if I can't catch anything, then I'll use uh, cut baits. Any Thanks. grubs will do, but I like CHL. Probably in a cooey. Yep, looks like in a cooey. And it is. Woohoo! Macro scat is known to be one of the best baits in Hawaii, but can catch almost anything. Okay, hooked up again. I see something silvery. Yep, it's another one. Oh, this is a lie. Let it back. Let it back. Scad. It's a lie. Now this is the live well mesh bag I use to keep all my fish alive. I'll show you how it works. All right, this is some bait from earlier today, but I decided I'm tired. I'm just gonna go home. So we're just gonna release the bait. Got a couple damsels, cardinal, sergeant major, and a good fish. Okay guys, till next time. All right. Bait's released. Now if I was staying the night, I'll be using this as live bait, but I released everything. Thank you for watching.